Welcome to Swim Life Pro's second and final video tutorial on learning how to swim the complete backstroke. Please make sure you are comfortable with all material discussed in section 1 of this series before attempting this section. The next step in learning the full backstroke is to learn the backstroke's pull. This is a full arm pull that is derived from your shoulders and chest. Similar to the flutter kick, the pull can be divided into two different parts. The power phase, which creates the majority of the forward velocity of the pull, and the recovery phase, which resets your arm in preparation for the next stroke. In addition, the power phase of the pull can be broken down into three separate, yet equally important parts. The catch, the mid-pull, and the finish. At the beginning of the power phase, the catch is designed to prepare your arm for a strong mid-pull and finish. The power phase of the backstroke pull utilizes a motion called the bent elbow push. As the name suggests, your arm bends at the elbow for two reasons. First, to create a stronger, more efficient pull, and second, to allow your hand to pull along a straight line from beginning to end. In order to prepare the catch, extend your arm comfortably backwards as if you were trying to touch something just out of arm's reach behind your head, your fingers pointed straight in the direction you were swimming. This backward extension of your arm should be emphasized, as it will offset your shoulders, allowing you to displace an even greater amount of water, thus propelling you further with each stroke. The palm of your hand should be facing outwards so that your pinky finger is lowest in the water. Begin the catch by widening your arm away from the center of your body, very slightly bending your arm at the elbow. Bend your wrist, allowing the palm of your hand to angle flat against the direction you are pulling. The motion of the backstroke's catch is small, preparing your arm for the more powerful mid-pull and finish. By the end of the catch, your hand and forearm should be at the widest position of the power phase. The second most powerful part of the backstroke's power phase is the mid-pull. Your hand during the mid-pull is designed to push flat against the water towards your feet with a tight thrusting motion. Begin the mid-pull by firmly pushing the palm of your hand against the water towards your feet, slowly bringing your hand in towards your body as you pull. In order to perform the mid-pull effectively, increase the bend in your arm, lowering your elbow towards the bottom of the pool as your hand travels along your body. Keep your wrist and hand firm, making sure to have the palm of your hand pushing as flat against the water as possible at all times. By the end of the mid-pull, your upper arm should be extended as far forwards as possible with your arm slightly bent at your elbow. The palm of your hand should still be facing towards your feet. The third and final part of the power phase for the backstroke pull is the finish. Simply put, the finish is designed to complete the power phase. The finish utilizes a small sweeping motion consisting of only the forearm and hand. Start the finish by rotating your hand to face towards the bottom of the pool. While keeping your wrist firm, straighten your arm at the elbow, forcing your hand downwards. By the end of the finish, your arm should be straight and fully extended with the palm of your hand facing towards the bottom of the pool. The recovery phase for the backstroke pull utilizes a full arm sweeping motion that begins at the very end of the power phase. The recovery is designed to reset your stroke in preparation for the next pull, and should never assist in making you move forwards or backwards in the water. At the beginning of the recovery, your palm should be facing down towards the bottom of the pool with your arm straight at full forward extension. Rotate your hand so that your palm is facing in towards your thigh. If done properly, your thumb should be the first finger to exit the water. While maintaining a straight arm, lift your arm out of the water. For the entire recovery, your arm should remain straight, following a path similar to that of a half circle. At the height of the recovery, it is important to have your arm raised as high out of the water as comfortably possible over your head. If done properly, your recovering shoulder should break the surface of the water to be in line with the height of your chin. This will create what's called the backstroke's lateral body roll. Using the momentum of your arm's recovery phase, your body will rotate naturally from side to side. This will allow your backstroke to have a higher recovery on one arm and a deeper pull on the other. As your hand passes over your head, rotate the palm of your hand to face away from your body. By the time your arm enters the water above your head, your pinky finger should enter the water first. At the end of the recovery phase, your arm should be extended as far above your head as comfortably possible prepared to start the next power phase. The phrase thumb out, pinky in is an easy way for you to remember which direction your hand should face for the recovery phase. When you start the recovery phase, your thumb exits the water first. As you are finishing the recovery phase, your pinky will enter the water first. 
At least one arm should always be in power phase at all times, allowing you to keep a consistent pace in the water. The power and recovery phases should be completed equally, leaving your arms in constant motion. Make sure to include all parts of the backstroke's power phase in your pull, the catch, mid-pull, and finish. For newer swimmers, it is easy to create bad habits by starting your stroke at the mid-pull. Always extend your arms straight behind your head. The backstroke is swum entirely with your face out of the water. If you are concerned about your face being in the water, the elementary backstroke and side stroke are two additional strokes where your face is out of the water for the duration of the entire stroke. Always be sure to know where you are in the pool at all times. While swimming the backstroke, you cannot see the direction that you are swimming. If you are not a strong swimmer, stay away from swimming over deep water. Thank you for watching Swim Life Pro's video series on learning how to swim the entire backstroke. Please make sure to check out our other video tutorials on each of the six official strokes and treading water at www.swimlifepro.com.